In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate API test cases that perform CRUD operations against a MongoDB collection of customer data. Since I designed and developed the API, I certainly do not want to write code to test it as well. So, stop writing code to test code. My name is Jeff Fuligar. I write code to build products, not test cases. And so for this demonstration, I built an API in .NET 6 that performs CRUD operations against a MongoDB database collection of customer data. In the video, you will see how to automate the API test cases with Tosca. Tosca is the industry-leading no-code visual test designer, and Tosca is my tool of choice. Before we get to building automated test cases, let's take a look at the system under test and the data under test. I've logged into my local MongoDB database, and here is a, I've clicked on the list of the customer collections. At the time of this recording, there's 115 customer records. Each of the customer records has this list of attributes. One of our automated test cases will verify and validate the data contained in a few of the, the records. And one of our automated test cases will post or create a new customer and then verify it using the object ID that we get back. This is the Mongo uh, DB ID. Think of it as the you know, SQL Server identity ID. Now let's take a look at the customer API. The first method we'll look at is the get list of customers. This is our collection of records. You can see we have 115 total records at the time of the recording, and then it's followed by each individual record. If we wanted to look up an individual record by quote ID or email or Salesforce ID or first or last name, we can because we have a method for that. To make it easy, let's just grab the quote ID and we'll go look up this particular customer, Dave Phillips, by the quote ID. So scroll down to the method for get customer by quote ID. And we can see it takes in a quote ID as a parameter. And click execute. And here we can see that we have one single record returned and we see that it's Dave Phillips. This will be one of the test cases that we automate with Tosca. The next test case we'll look at will be to verify the creation of a new customer has been inserted into the MongoDB collection correctly. So we've got the create new customer post. So in the request body, we will post our new customer information and we will click on execute. In the response, we see that we have the MongoDB object ID has been returned along with the information that we sent in the request. Now, in order to get started building automated test cases with Tosca, we need to grab the Swagger file from our Swagger implementation here, and this way we can import this into Tosca. And then in Tosca API scan, we are going to import that. So if you just have the file, you can select file, but we have the URL. And we'll click on OK. Let's take a look at what was generated for us. So in our folder here, we can see we have a customer folder with a list of the methods and endpoints that were defined in our Swire file. We take a look at the get list of customers method. We're on the request tab here. I can click on run. And the response tab comes back with 116 records and the collection of customer records. Now, if we want to take a look at a customer by the quote ID, you can click on the get here and let's see a request response, nothing in the response. Click on the request tab. The quote ID is one of the parameters. I can paste in a value, a quote ID from the, from the customer that I created earlier. I'll click on uh, run. And then here you can see we get the individual customer record back. Now let's export our list of test cases over to Tosca so that we can start to data drive them and add them to our execution pipeline. 
So I'm going to click on the folder that I'm interested in. I'm actually going to resize our API scan uh, utility so that we see Tosca in the background. And then I will click on the API test case button here. Once I do that, we can take a look at what was generated for us. So in the modules folder, we have a list of all the API endpoints. Each API will have a request and response module. Here's the request, here's the response. And so the next step in the process is to add the individual uh, module attributes to the request and response, and those updates will automatically reflect in the corresponding test case. So here's the get customer by quote ID test case and the request for response uh, automated test steps are empty. So let's go to the re get request here. We want the uh, quote ID. So we'll click on add because it'll be the parameter that we'll use to pass in uh, quote IDs uh, for a customer. And then we'll do the same activity on the response here. We'll just select all, we'll click on you know, add. So this adds those module attributes to the get request and response of the get customer by quote ID. And then if we come down to the test case, we can see that the changes that we made at the module were automatically reflected at the test case level. This is one of the fundamental principles of the model-based test approach. Anytime there's a change to the UI, or in this case, the API, we make the changes at the module and then the changes are reflected in the test cases. So now if we wanted to populate our uh, API automated API test case with some data just to make sure that everything is still working as expected, we can uh, click on autofill values and this will populate our automated test case with the data from the module. This is just for us to make sure that the test case is going to run without uh, issues. And then the next step in our process is we will turn around and data drive it. So we'll get more, remove our static data and then instantiate our test case from a data model. Now let's execute our test case using our scratchbook just to verify that the test case is running without error. So I'll right click and say run in scratchbook. Tosco will minimize itself, and you'll see the little stats bar at the bottom there, turn green. And then we can see that in our scratchbook, we have all greens so that our uh, response, the verifications were successful. One of the cool things about Tosca is it will automatically put these verification checkpoints in here and, and output an expected versus actual in the uh, results log. So no need to code or or, or add any different uh, configurations in order to get this type of information out. This just happens out of the box when you are verifying expected versus actual within the automated test step. In our next video, we will take a look at building automated test cases for the other CRUD operations for our MongoDB.NET API implementation. This concludes another edition of Quality Engineering Explained. You can find all the source code and task subsets on my git at github.com forward slash filigree.